You're watching Adorama TV. Hey everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Adorama TV's iPad App Reviews. I'm Mark Wallace. Well, this week we're going to be looking at Apple's Pages application. It's a great productivity application for writing documents and creating all kinds of things. And what I've learned is it's much easier to use uh, Pages when you're using a wireless keyboard like Apple's wireless keyboard. It really opens up the iPad to be a really robust uh, application for doing word processing. So let's take a closer look at Pages. Pages is a productivity app that comes from Apple. It's part of iWork. And you're probably familiar with uh, word processing applications, and that's exactly what this is. It is, I believe, the best word processing application for the iPad, which goes to reason since Apple created it for its own product. Now, when you begin, it, you get to this My Documents page, and you can swipe through different documents that you've created. The cool thing is this comes with a uh, getting started with pages manual, so you can go in there and it gives you a full instructions on all the different features. So I'm going to really quickly walk through some of those features and show you how to do this. Now to start, what you'll do is at the very bottom of this page you have different icons, and so we're going to click the plus, and that's going to ask if we want to duplicate a document or create a brand new document. In this instance, I want to create a brand new document. And the first thing it's going to say is, what template do you want to use? Now, by default, you can use a blank template, which is no formatting at all, or you can go in here and you can choose one of many of these different posters and professional letters and little flyers and recipes and things like that. So uh, if you're not a graphic designer, you just want to get started really quickly, these make it really easy to make some really good looking letters and things like that uh, right off the bat. We're going to start with a blank slate right here. So that opens up and you'll see that we have an absolute blank piece of paper. Now normally the keypad will open up and that's how you would be typing. I'm using the Bluetooth keyboard, the Apple Bluetooth keyboard to make this a little bit easier and so I'm going to make that go away. Now this works just like you would think it would work so I can say this is uh, a uh, paper that I'm writing and you can uh, get that in there and it's all good. Now the nice thing is once you have that there and you have some text if you want to select that you can just tap on that. You can tap twice to get the single word or three times to get the entire paragraph. You can uh, use the copy and paste and select just like you're used to on all of your iPad and iPhone applications. So you have cut, copy, paste. You can copy and paste styles which is really nice or you can just click off of that to get out of there. Now if you want to change this style, you have this um, bar up here that allows you to change the style. So we can make this a title just by clicking on that, or a subtitle, or a heading, um, a label, a dark label, etc. So we have all these styles in here that we can use. So there is, this is the paper that I'm writing. I can double click on that, make it bold, or italic, or underline. So we have all of the different formatting options that we're used to. We have less just, left justified text and centered and right justified and fully justified. And so all of the different things that you're used to in a normal word, pressing, uh, word processing application, you have. You have the different uh, margins. You have indents and things like that. So that's all on the ruler on the top. Now the other thing you can do is you can uh, get rid of that. If you don't want that there, you can click on that and it comes right back. If you want to get into some more advanced um, uh, formatting, you can click on this little eye here and then you can not only do the style, but you can make this a list. So you could be a bulleted list or an image list or lettered or numbered list. Um, there's different types of things you can do. You can indent that. You have different layout functions. So all of those are there, different line spacing. So all the normal stuff that you would get in a word processor is there. So what I'm going to do is to illustrate some more of the advanced formatting functionality. I'm going to go back to my documents and I'm going to open this document. And here's some uh, notes from some uh, journal that I was writing. So here's a quote from Thoreau. I don't know if you can actually see it, but we want to spice this page up. And so I just have some text on this page. So the first thing I'm going to do here is uh, click on that. I'm going to change this to a subtitle so you can see that this is a much larger uh, piece of text. Now let's say I want to change the entire page. I want the entire page to look something different. I can shrink that to see the entire page. I'll just click on this little wrench here and you can see we have document setup. Now once I click on that, you can see that this turns into a blueprint and I can do some things. So I can go up here and tap on the header. I can go over here and say I want to add uh, page numbering. So I'm going to say this is page one of whatever. I might be able to go in here and say term paper or you know whatever. So I can do headers and footers um, on this and once I'm done I can say done and you'll see that there it is. It's on every single page. I can also go in there if I wanted to 
let's say I wanted to have this document look totally different. Well, here's some media, and so I could actually go in here, put this square piece of green on there, stretch this out so it's the entire page, and then when I get on that, I can change that to red or yellow. So we'll leave it yellow since it's sort of nasty. There are all different types of style options. I can add a shadow. I can do some different fill, fills and things like that. But let's leave it for right now, that nasty yellow. And you can see that the entire page has changed. So it now looks like this nasty yellow. I can put borders. I can put little boxes. I can do all kinds of things with that page layout that really makes this from a normal standard piece of white paper to something that's a little bit more like a flyer or a formal letter. So you have a lot of options there. Now let's add some more punch to this. Let's add some media. So I can go in here and I can say I want to add either media which are images that I've stored. I can add tables. So if you need to add some numeric data or something from numbers or Excel, you can do that. And you can actually scroll through here. They have a lot of options for both the media and the tables. Um, charts, you can add charts, pie charts, line charts, different types of graphs. So all of the normal kinds of things you would see in a word processor like Microsoft Word or um, pages on a normal Mac, you have that here. You even have normal shapes. So if you want to call something out with a star or a call out, some arrows, you have all of these different types of shapes. And you can format those once you get them inside your document. So what we want to do is let's add just a picture right here. So I'm going to add a picture of Don. So once I push on that, it's going to actually load it into the document. So here we have our document. Here's our uh, picture of Don. Now I really want to spruce this up because I want this to not take up the entire column. So I can uh, just take this and drag it and make it smaller. And to move it around on the page, all I have to do is drag it around. Now, if I want to format that, it's really, really easy. I hit this I here, and I've got some style options. I want to put a little border around it. And so by doing that, now I have my border. It looks like it's uh, just floating there. Or I can click this and say, you know what? I want some different uh, types of borders. So I'm going to do one that's a little bit uh, more pronounced. And so it's this border here. Now, the cool thing is, once you have this in, you still have more options. So if I want to take this and rotate it, I can do that. If I want to uh, make this so that the image inside this is larger, I can do that. Then I can reposition it and say mask that. And so now I only have this little uh, image right there. I can click on this. I can go in here and do some different things like um, identifying a different kind of edge or different kind of border. I can change the scale. I can turn the border on and off. I can even go back here um, and arrange it so it's behind text, in front of text. I can do all kinds of things to this image. And so it's really, really nice to be able to move these things around. I can change the way that the text wraps around this. So by doing this, I'm going to just uh, rotate this a little bit. I'm going to shrink this, and it's gonna, everything's going to come along for the ride. I could start adding things like images, graphs, um, other images some shapes, and I can get a really, really impressive looking document. Now to show you what one might look like when it was finished, I'm going to go back here to my documents, and uh, I'm going to create a brand new document, and I'm going to choose a template that's already done. So I'm going to choose this poster, and this has all those different types of things I'm talking about. So it has your uh, different styles, it's got some shapes, it's got images, it's got borders, it's got all kinds of things. So you could use something like this and you can really, really make something look like it was created on a full-fledged word processing document. And if you want to see what that looks like in full screen, you can click this and there you have it. You can also use AirPrint to print this from your iPad straight to an AirPrint enabled printer. Or if you want to get this to your desktop, I'll go back here to my documents. There is a document right here, this little icon. When I click that, you can either email the document, you can share it on iWork.com, you can send it to iTunes, so then you can load that onto another document right from your desktop computer. You can save it on your iDisk, you can copy it to a web app. So there are all kinds of different applications that you can use uh, to get this from your iPad out onto a normal full-fledged printer. Um, you can either bring in uh, documents as well. So if you've uh, worked on documents in uh, Microsoft Word or in Pages, you can bring those in uh, through iTunes or your iDisk or WebDAV. So it's really, really nice. And then when you have something that you just don't want to have on your iPad anymore, you hit the delete button, you delete the document, and there you go. 
it's all done. It's really, really, uh, a really powerful application for editing uh, word processing documents, for creating new things. So it's great for anybody that has to create documents on the go or frequently flies a lot. Well, there you have it. It's Apple's Pages application, a great resource for writing all kinds of documents on your iPad. Well, remember, if you want to see more iPad application reviews, just go to the Adorama Learning Center. We have all of them posted and ready for you to view right there. Well, thanks for joining me. I'll be right back here next week. I hope to see you then. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.